This is Mina Barsoom with CDOX and welcome to the tip of the day. Today I want to talk about photography and some of the different camera options available on the market to help you capture beautiful images of your patients. We all know that photography is an important part of the co-diagnostic process. In my practice, we take photos on every single new patient and it helps us to communicate our findings more effectively with our patients. So a couple of the common camera setups, like the one you just saw me using, uh, this is your traditional DSLR camera with a macro lens. The macro lens allows you to take high resolution images of very small things like what we would do intraorally. Um, but the biggest thing with any camera setup is going to be the lighting. And what you see on the screen here, this is a twin flash setup. So typically for a lot of us who are lecturing or projecting our images on very large screens, you may see us using these types of cameras specifically because that twin flash allows me to position the light source in different angles to get the most optimum image. Uh, one of the downsides with this type of setup, obviously it's quite large, it has a little bit of weight to it, so it can be a little daunting for team members to try to utilize. So in my practice, my camera setup, like what you see on the screen, is typically the one that I use personally myself when I'm capturing images on my patients. Now, another common camera setup, like the, um, so, so going back, that, that twin flash setup, what you're gonna be looking at in terms of cost, this is just a screenshot from PhotoMed. Typically the cost on these cameras is gonna be somewhere around $2,500 to $3,000 to buy a full setup with everything that you need. Now, another common camera setup that we also have in our office is what you see here, this is a ring flash. So again, very similar setup. You have a, in this case, a Nikon camera body with another macro lens, 100 millimeter macro lens. Um, but now the, the light source is a ring flash directly around the lens. So this makes it a lot easier for your team members to take photos, um, makes it a lot lighter and it's easier to use. Now the photo quality isn't as great as something with a twin flash with diffusers, for example, but for your everyday and day-to-day -day images, this is perfectly adequate. Now looking at cost on this, again, from PhotoMed, you're probably in the 2000 to 2500 range, so a few hundred dollars cheaper to get something like this, but in my experience, my team has really enjoyed using a camera like that with a wireless ring flash it's a lot lighter a lot easier to manage and it's less uh, that they have to lift and carry now what I've started using recently for the last year or so is what you see on the screen this is a mirrorless camera so the difference between this and a DSLR a traditional DSLR camera uses mirrors to move the uh, image that you see from the lens through the viewfinder so that you can visualize it. When you capture an image, uh, shutter go ahead and closes and allows the sensor to capture that image. So there's a mirror that's moving uh, the image. Now, the reason that works is it gives you a, a true optical image that isn't processed by a computer through a screen. So you can see exactly what the lens sees. Now, the downside to a typical DSLR, they're typically bigger. So they're a little bit heavier, larger. They need the space for the mirrors to move the light. Now, obviously this doesn't have a mirror, so this is all digital. So what you see on the screen is what's coming in through the lens and your viewfinder actually ends up being a small screen as well. So this gives you a much smaller footprint, a lighter camera and it does take really nice high quality images so you'll have a similar setup to what you saw before uh, this setup that you see on the screen notice there's no additional lens or flash on the lens we're using the actual camera's flash and it goes through that white diffuser and I'll show you where to buy that here in a second but that white diffuser creates a softer light source so it's not so harsh and uh, overexposed so it's a, it's a really nice way to capture macro intraoral photography now you're also going to need a macro lens this happens to be a 60 millimeter uh, Olympus macro lens but the entire package is very light very small my team loves taking images with this uh, so where do you buy all these parts and pieces the, the camera body that happened to be the, the Panasonic GH4. You can buy this on Amazon. It's around $800 if you can find them. Uh, the Olympus macro lens is about $500. So you're, you're about $1,300, $1,400 in. So it's definitely a lot less expensive than the other camera setups that we had. Um, but the key to all of this is buying that diffuser. So uh, one of our good friends, Vu Lee, developed this diffuser and this is his website. You can go on his website and buy it. He'll make it for uh, your camera setup that you have and it'll create really nice images and this is just an example of a case we just completed recently my team took both of these photos before and after um, just with that uh, mirrorless camera setup so it does capture really nice images um, whether you're using them for documentation for lectures or just for patient education 
a mirrorless camera setup is a really nice option. So hopefully this was a good helpful video for you kind of uh, simplifying the, the different camera options we have on the market. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon in future videos. Take care.